What's up guys, JP back at you once again, bringing you guys day number 29 in my 10th annual 31 Days of Horror series in which we watch and review 31 horror films in 31 days all during the month of October, leading right up to Halloween and continuing along with the Vinegar Syndrome titles, we have one that I've had on the shelf for quite a while and haven't watched. I had thought I'd seen it before, but I'm not quite sure, and that is The Bees from 1978. Uh, directed by Alfredo Zacharias, and I believe Joe Hill actually worked on the script with this. Uh, starring John Saxon and John Carradine. John Saxon, uh, a, a, a really likable actor. I, I like him in almost everything I've ever seen him in. Uh, so th this, this movie basically opens up with a narration that says that uh, these honeybees from Africa were taken to South America to sort of uh, manufacture and, and grow, grow, culture honey, uh, and they ended up mixing or breeding with the uh, killer bees of, or they were, they were African killer bees, and they mixed with the South American bees, or they mixed with the African bees mixed with South American killer bees. Either way, they ended up extra killer bees, because... Uh, they bred into this sort of super bee, and it essentially starts in South America, and it just keeps going and going and going and going up towards North America, and it's getting worse and worse for everybody, so um, it's basically a problem. So John Saxon and a couple of, like, sciencey people f try to figure out a way to stop these bees. They end up developing some sort of uh, spray or, uh, you know, uh, dust or, like like, some sort of chemical that will make the worker bees kill the queens. So it essentially stops them from breeding. Um, but it doesn't quite work the way they want. And that's basically the movie. Uh, there is a lot of bees in this movie, uh, real bees. And I, from what I read online, the stingers were cut off of a lot of them, which I thought kills the bees. They even mentioned that in the movie, that when they sting you, they die. I don't know if that's actually a true thing. I've been stung by bees multiple times from the same bee. Uh, I've been attacked by bees so many times in my life, it's ridiculous. Like, one time I think I got stung like 13 times. Um, but yeah, I, I'm very familiar with bees. I actually just got stung recently. <laughs> um, but... It's, uh, it's tons and tons of bees in this movie, all real, uh, and then there's like some graphical effects swarms as well. Um, the movie's kind of ridiculous, especially when they start uh, talking to the bees. I'm not making that up, like they develop a communication uh, with the bees, and that's absolutely ridiculous. Probably my favorite part in this entire movie is when there's this old man who hires these two little kids... Uh, for two dollars to go capture like five bees and they like just picking them up and putting them in a bag and i'm like what the hell no kid is picking up a bee where i'm from i mean i've picked up one before but i'm crazy and uh like what when we were kids we would pick them up and try to sting each other with them but they're sometimes their butts would turn around and and sting you um but the um i would never do that now but anyway so they 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 hire the, the, this kid for two dollars. These two kids. This other kid's all mad because the the two kids won't tell him much about it. And he he they get the, the this guy the bees and he wants him to sting himself because he has like arthritis in his knee and bee stings apparently help with that. That might I don't know some kind of medicinal purpose type thing. But this kid's all mad. This other this third kid's all mad and he sees this giant beehive above them. So he has a baseball. <laughs> the baseball and knocks all the bees off and then it kills the old man and the old man like looks like he can barely walk and then all of a sudden he's like flipping over the bench and stuff like that and then the other the kid even the kid that threw the ball ends up dying but um yeah i mean there's a there's a lot of there there's actually a nice section of this film where everybody's getting attacked by bees and it's pretty cool but then there's a lot of boring sections of the movie where it's just like talking i will say that john saxon when he's on screen he is very charismatic and you do like him and then the lo love interest, um, Angel Tompkins, she's actually, like, fun, too. It seems like everybody's having fun with this movie. Uh, I appreciate the, the effort by everybody. It's a 1978 uh, Nature Run Amok film. Um, they try to do something different with, like, the communication of the bees, and it actually has more of a, like, 
different type of ending than what you expect for nature run amok films of the 70s it ends very differently um like the final ending but it also sort of ends abruptly where you're like what that's it that that was the whole movie um it, it's like it ends kind of weird um but yeah overall i mean i enjoyed it it's not a great movie but i i recommend checking it out if you like killer animal flicks like i do i love killer bee movies and killer cockroaches and and different insects ticks Want my vin my vinegar syndrome tick still isn't here. It has not moved from the shipping. It makes me so mad. Anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, we got two more days. See you guys tomorrow with another one. And peace out.